You ever been lost in the swamp? I had never been lost, been confused for a little while at the time, but never been lost. His daddy was a one-armed alligator hunter. Johnny Hickok, the Okefenokee is home and stomping grounds. He was born and raised here, and he and the land of trembling earth are part of each other, like the reflection in the dark water. This and my dining table at home is my two favorite <laughs> spots. <laughs> Why have you decided to spend all your life in the Okefenokee Swamp? Well, I haven't ever found no place that I thought was better. <laughs> I went off in the service and came back with mother. Told me, said, I never had been out of the county for them. Mother said, I bet you've seen some pretty places. I said, yes. She said, what's the prettiest place you ever seen? I said, the Okefenokee. <laughs> and it really looked good when I got to come back. I guess if I live another 52 years, I'll spend it every bit right around the Okefenokee. There have been very few days when Johnny hasn't been out in the swamp, skirting the cypress groves and skimming across the wide prairies, those open, flat expanses of just water and low plants. There was a time when he'd be scouting the alligator trails, hunting just like his daddy. Up until a few years ago, gator hunting provided food and income. Then it was banned. They, they worked a long time on running the poachers out of here, trying to keep them out. And the, right at last there, they closed the market, so that put a stop to it. Now, if, if they'd done that first all start, that, they'd have saved a lot of money. A lot of alligators. A lot of funny. alligators, too. <laughs> were those old hunters the ornery group they were made out to be? No, they just a bunch of old home folks, pretty near everybody around the edge of the swamp here, skin alligators. Um, they'd sell the skin, then they'd use a lot of that alligator tail for to eat. Alligator tail was a pretty good dish. Messed up the local cuisine when they closed down the hunt. Oh huh? yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir, I've eaten many a mess of alligator tail. Uh, cut it up about like chops and cook it like cooking fish. It has a fish flavor, more firmer than fish. The way they kill the alligators in here would come in here at night with a light. That way you can pole a boat up real close to them, shoot them with a 22 rifle. I mean, it don't take too much to kill an alligator if you know where to shoot him. There's one over there. Johnny was calm about it. A 10-footer who looked far from happy that we disturbed his sunbathing. A practiced hand and a strong pole put us between the gator and the water. It was a standoff, but somehow you couldn't help but get the idea that we were outnumbered by one gator. Soon, he lost his patience, and our picture-taking was over. It's easy to believe that Johnny Hickok knows gators, but then he introduced us to his pal Oscar, they are personal friends, as personal as you can get with a 12-foot, 700-pound bull alligator. When Johnny shouts his name, Oscar slides through the swamp for a snack, which Mr. Hickok gives him by hand. Come on, let's come on out there. Come on. Get on up here. When Johnny says that he has a way with alligators, he's not kidding, because they're not the type beast that you normally expect to walk right up and eat out of your hand, and leave the hand. From the Okefenokee Swamps, this is Andy Johnston. Oscar's had his fill.